Hello, my dear Luna sisters. So today, the theme of vulnerable leadership continues, and I talked a little bit about this last week too, and here I'm coming to you again with this blog post and this video, and really because of the all the energy that happened over the weekend with the march, the biggest protest in U.S., maybe world history, I'm not sure, um, I was there marching for sure, and I felt so much powerful energy and enthusiasm and a lot of kind of questions too about what now, what do we do now? And I wanted to share with you that I think there's a lot of women, young women out there struggling right now and they're they're feeling too broken, too sick, too poor, too um, whatever, too young maybe, too inexperienced, just not ready, not competent enough, not worthy enough to share their gifts with the world and be the feminine leaders they were meant to be. And I come to you today and I say that it is through whatever challenge or messiness in your life that you are going to rise to your success. And the more that we can show up for ourselves and our purpose in the face of these challenges and say, hey, I'm facing this and I'm going to still pursue my dreams or I'm going to talk about this challenge or I'm going to seek out the healers that I need to seek out and the support I need. And with that determination, we can not only heal emotionally and physically, but we can rise to the leaders that we were meant to be. And I know that right now it's tempting to just go and bury your face in a pillow or in the sand because it's really scary what's happening in the world right now. But realize also that this is your chance and your opportunity to speak out, to be the leader you were meant to be, to find your purpose, to fully embrace whatever path is in front of you, whether it's messy, whether it's hard, whatever it is, because someone out there needs to see you shining in the midst of whatever messiness you're in right now. They need to see you being courageous. They need to see your spirit and your drive because that will in turn encourage them to rise above whatever circumstance or fear that they are feeling right now. So I come to you with a vulnerable share of my own today, which is that I struggle with a very difficult health condition, and I've struggled with chronic fatigue for the past three and a half years now. I haven't had normal energy levels, and I have to pace myself a lot and not do a lot of the activities I used to do. And yet, I still have made the decision this year. I'm pursuing my dreams. I'm starting a business. I'm working with women that I love. I'm starting to make money doing what I love. And I am truly just overcoming my circumstances. So I hope that my example of this inspires you in some small way today to get out there, to share your story, to be vulnerable, and realize that through your vulnerability, there is your power. And there you're going to rise and be the amazing, beautiful, sensitive young woman that you are. All right. Take care, loves. Bye.